Hello and welcome again to the last battle of the best of the three, Baton vs Atom Pro in the uh, Adam tournament. I think. I'm not sure which is tournament this is, but uh, it's somebody's tournament, that's for sure. We have villages, 5000 resources for normal games. This is a little bit different as you can see. The players have a few more resources to, to support their rather big start. This time we have Poland. So we are going to see a lot of green Tussars, bait and shoe is going for them, and the Polish Pikes. Atom Pro is going for wing Tussars as well. So we are going to see a, a lot of fast action here. Wing Tussars is actually a very good choice because the Polish Pikes don't have any armor and uh, their attack power is also rather questionable. Wing Tussars are way superior to the Polish Pikes in, almo in one, almost in every way. Apart from, of course, the quantity. Mm. You can have about 8 Polish 817 spikes for one wing Tusa without the faster cavalry production upgrade. Baton attempted to raid Atom Pro, which uh, successfully destroyed the his peasants. That's good enough, I guess. Both players are having are having slight food problems. Baton appears to go once more for the uh, economic strategy. Atom Pro as well though, so there is a good chance for Baton and of course for Atom Pro to win this. Both players of course want to win this because if they win, if either of them wins, the one who wins now moves on to the next round. And I'm not sure if I can actually uh, uh, record the next round or any upcoming rounds. I think this is round two of the tournament. I'm not sure if you are Russian or not, or not Russian, but but either way, if you follow the tournament in which Adam is streaming, you might know more than I actually, <laughs> or might know more than me, better said. It appears like Artem Pro forgot to build one of his gold mines. But he's building it now, so there's that. I heard a stable sound. Artem Pro has two stables. Baton has one. I mean, I, ho I hope at this point it, not, it doesn't make it too much of a difference. But Artem Pro is going on a heavy cavalry strategy. What's Baton is still going for better pikes, I, I suppose. Atom Pro goes for early dragoons. What a madman. But a very effective strategy. Since Polish pikes, look, they don't have protection against bullets. They have the formation bonus, but that's only two. Which means they will still take six they will still take sixteen damage from from the shot, from the firepower. Polish packs have 90 health, and if you take the maps and uh, subtract 16 from 90 over and over again, you know how many shots it will take. It even works if you just take 15. In that case, they will need about 6 shots. I'm sure if Call of Fit kind of gets to read the comments of this, he is, uh, or, or even watches the video entirely, he is going to correct me, because I'm not good at maths, <laughs> but I think that this time I'm actually correct. Six shots, that's what I'm saying. Adam Pro using his wing two stars pretty wastely. This way, Baton can actually pull the most out of his improved pikes. As you see, Baton won this engagement. You don't want to have your wing two cells go into the frontal charge alone. 
they might be very strong, but they are also very vulnerable because of their low numbers. And because of their, high, of their long production time of 26 seconds without the upgrade, this one, they will also not replenish very fast. They are basically your special unit. Your special unit for special problems. You don't want to waste them. If you are using normal Hussars, then you can do it, of course, because they have a, a quick production time. 15 seconds minus the upgrade should be something around 11 seconds or so, I don't know. Or 10 seconds, actually. One third of 15 is 5, so 10, 50 minus 5 is 10. 10 seconds for a Husa, for normal one. That's still 3 Polish 17 spice or 1 Husa, but it's better. You can actually waste them. Baton doing God's work, destroying a town center of Artem Pro. Does he manage it though? Artem Pro repaired it. But Baton is putting a hell of a pressure on Artem Pro. Baton made Dragoons, so if these arrive and the force that's putting Siege on Artempro is still somehow putting damage, it doesn't look good for Artempro. Now he still has a chance, he can still defeat this force with his Dragoons and his Peasants United. It's unlikely of course, but uh, it's not over yet. There we go, and now Baton has to fall back, giving Item Pro a short moment to take a breath again. But Item Pro is going for an immediate uh, counter attack, which might not be the best idea to be honest. He doesn't have ammunition right now. He blew up, uh, up his coal mine in an attempt to defend himself, which worked, I think. I will actually have to watch the video myself to uh, see if anybody died from the coal mine on the iron mine explosion. But Artem Pro is going for a nasty little raid with four wing Tusas. Granted, that's not going to be very effective. They are probably going to run into infantrymen or something. Or the peasants. Even the peasants can defeat them quite easily at the moment. But. It's still an attempt to make a counter-attack. They are well armored against swords, but not well enough, so the infantrymen mercenaries, they will still deal a lot of damage. Was that 8 resistance? Yeah, so the infantry mercenaries will still do 8 damage, which is a lot. What is Baton doing? He almost ran with his dragoons into Artem Pro's men. But he is doing a good job at uh, putting a lot of pressure on Artem Pro right now. Does he have any archers? He doesn't. No, so he can't really sabotage Artem Pro right now. What he's doing right now is a good enough job though. Artem Pro goes for Mercenary Grenadiers. Which actually he might not be able to support with his economy anymore. But we'll see, because uh, Mercenary Lugonadiers and Dragoons actually eat a lot of ammunition. And Atombro doesn't really have that right now. Baton does. And he also only has a rather small force of Dragoons. However, a lot of Grenadiers are easily able to take out a lot of Dragoons. Baton is trying to bait out Atombro out of his base. I think. Well, actually, he's trying to get some reinforcements. Right now he has a healthy army, about 140 pikes, or almost 150 rather, 100 infantrymen, a few winged hussars and some dragoons. What does Artempro have? More pikes, same infantry, grenadiers of course, and some peasants. That coal mine explosion was kind of wasted. 
Aiden is attacking, leaving his dragoons a bit out in the open. There we go. It's hard to see though. It's a decisive win for Baton though. Let's see. Atom Pro has five, five, seven pikes. Baton has full pikes, so that's why he won. He had way more attack power than Atom Pro. And as, there we have it. Baton won. And thus he goes to the next round. Congratulations to Baton. Well played for Atom Pro. Well played for both actually. And uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know in the comments. If not, let us know in the comments. But uh, until the next video, until then, adios amigos.